um, uh, blind and some of them uh, depriving them of oxygen to brain damage them. I mean, that came out and that was being targeted. Most of the cases where they were talking to people were minority people. They came in and they actually, Dr. Bregan, created an acronym called SUPPORT. And they told him, we're with the support group, you know, and they had this little acronym as cover. And these people thought they were just a, uh, a support group. They were going to be coming in, holding their hands, offering them counseling and that sort of thing. When actually they were signing on, they were deceiving them into signing on to a situation where their child was going to be damaged by this deprivation of oxygen or too much oxygen. Yeah, the, you know, it's just an opportunistic. They go after yes. the minorities, partly from racism, but partly it's just flat out opportunism. Let me quickly go down some of these DARPA programs. Can I do that for sure. about 60 yeah, go ahead. seconds yeah, here? Definitely. Well, well, first of all, DARPA is funded through, through Obama mm -hmm. and through the military this time. Most of these other programs were through health agencies, the Justice Department, and so on. Uh, one project is to create a black box to implant in brains very much like the one in airplanes that will keep track of your brain function <laughs> and then even be able to uh, retrieve it after you've died to look at what happened to you. They monitor all of our, our emails and all of our conversations. That's not enough for them. They have to keep a record and I guess store it uh, uh, out in uh, Utah. They have to store it for the NSA, even what we think, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, my wife, Ginger, who works closely with me on these issues and on the uh, was the heart and soul behind the, the stopping the violence initiative against black children was just pointing this out to me today. They want to start with our conversations, but really where they want to go is inside our heads. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so, so one of them is the black box. Another is interface between brains. Uh, where they want to be people to be able to communicate and influence each other's brains. Um, uh, another is uh, influencing uh, brains, and they've been trying to do this with animals, uh, animal brains influencing animal brains, the Internet influencing animal brains. They've got another one about uh, stimulating for lost memories. Uh, you mentioned the one where they can put in chips and then destroy the chips, which would destroy the person. Yes. And the one that I think is the most key, because this is where the drug companies are going to jump, jump on. This is where all the money is really eventually going to go. And that's a project called Subnets. And that's at this point a $70 million DARPA project to use brain implants to identify mental disorders like depression, PTSD, addiction. Yeah, there They're you going go. to study what's wrong with brains and then fix the brains. This is subtle lobotomy. And, and you know, what we call mental illnesses are not physical in origin. A soldier who comes back uh, full of guilt and shame and, and horror of war and has what's called post-traumatic stress disorder. It's not a disorder, it's just post-traumatic stress. Mm -hmm. It's what happens to a normal person with a normal brain when you put them through war. Exactly. So they redefine human experiences. Depression is loss of hope. It's profound sadness. It's a feeling of helplessness. All of these understandable human processes are not biological in origin. And when they go in there and tinker, what they're eventually going to do is just very crude control and mostly destruction. Yes. And, and the other thing that, that concerns me is that if they did get a finer means of control, I think that their ultimate goal is to try to make people who absolutely have no conscience or remorse about what they will do who will do anything that they're told, whether that's because they've got some kind of a brain uh, chip in them that is forcing them to do it, or whether they've removed any guilt, any uh, moral conscience that that person might have. I think that's the thing that really scares me because when we look at these experiments, whether you're talking about the Tuskegee experiments that everybody knows about, or some of these that are just recent and a lot of people don't understand about this preemies uh, experiment on the premature babies, or just as I was coming to uh, InfoWars, they had the uh, EPA was experimenting on people feeding them diesel fumes. And this was done in an effort to try to up their regulations for fine particulate matter. They were selectively screening for people who had respiratory and heart issues because they wanted to uh, increase the uh, regulation of fine particulate matter. These are people who have no moral conscience, and I think they're trying to, uh, ultimately, that's what they would like to see happen with others. We're going to be right back with Dr. Peter Bregan. We're talking about the history of mind control and lobotomies and how that's been abused. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
talked about it for a while. Now it's time to get your family the emergency readiness pack it deserves. And there's one site to turn to, TopPackGear.com. From large to small, you'll find kits for every purpose, and all of them can be customized by you. TopPackGear.com offers the best pre-built packs the internet has to offer. Assembled using only high-quality products vetted by pros and chosen for the best balance of quality and value. Prepare, endure, prevail with TopPackGear.com. You are now in the crosshairs. The NSA and the FBI are treating you like a criminal and monitoring your every move. Ron Paul said recently, the evidence of the totalitarian nature of this government is on display undeniably every day. What's taking place right now is a coup and the destruction of the Constitution. But a friend and patriot has discovered a loophole. Find out about the NSA loophole before they shut it down at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey Water Filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that was good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and get the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products in InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I'm joined with Dr. Peter Bregan. This is a man who has, for many years, warned about the negative effects, the unintended consequences of SSRI drugs, making the symptoms worse, uh, being the major contributing factor to many suicides and mass murders. But this part of the program, we've been talking to him about something else that he's been involved in fighting, and that is lobotomies. And now we see that President Obama has this $100 million initiative, the brain initiative that uh, DARPA is pushing through. And of course, just as they used this phony acronym of support 
to try to deceive people who were the parents of premature babies into signing on to this program uh, that was going to essentially deprive their premature babies of oxygen or give them too much oxygen, uh, both of them having severe consequences, even death. They deceived them by coming up with this acronym called SUPPORT. Well, Obama's got his own acronym for this DARPA program. The BRAIN Initiative actually stands for Brain Research Through Advancing Innovative Neurotechnologies. And of course, what this looks like to me when they're talking about changing people's memories, when they're talking about selectively removing memories, this looks like the very crude approach that they did after World War II to veterans with lobotomies. I was just talking to Dr. Bregan about that. Dr. Bregan, uh, they want us to believe that they have something that is very advanced and uh, uh, very uh, precise surgically, electronically. Now we have high technology to take care of this. But as you're pointing out, this is just going to uh, be more of the same, isn't it? Yeah, let, let me address for a minute just how complex and amazing and poorly understood the brain is. <laughs> yes. You know, the brain has uh, perhaps 100 billion cells nerve cells now these are just the communicating cells not all the superstructure they may have up to 10,000 connections each one we're talking about trillions of connections going on in the brain we have so little understanding of the brain david that there is no famous brain scientist if you think about newton or einstein or galileo all the great names of the physical universe, there are none for the brain because we don't understand how the brain works. We don't understand its operating system. We don't know how it creates uh, language or thoughts or feelings. It's a very dark area. It's a mysterious area. It should be treated with the utmost respect and we should avoid any kind of tampering inside the brain. The, the brain, each of our brains is probably more complicated than the entire physical universe because life is so complicated. The universe doesn't speak. It doesn't think. It's, it's simple compared to a human brain. And we need to back off and say, if we're going to do basic research, it has to be on the simplest genuine neuroscientific level of how does a neuron work, how many connections does it have, what are the chemical influences on it. We can't just stumble into the brain like it's a china shop that we're indifferent toward barge around breaking things. We won't succeed in what they want to do. They won't succeed in, in fine-tuning people's brains, but they will succeed in developing the ability to injure brains and probably to make people docile. Yes. Because the main effect yes. is docility and apathy when you harm the brain. Yes, absolutely. I think, and I don't know how you view this, but I look at this and I think for them to come out and say that they're going to do it through DARPA, which is loosely tied to the defense uh, aspect of it. Of course, they do a lot of... Uh, a lot of things with robots that scare us as well. But when they say they're, they're going to treat PTSD, I think they're just looking to use veterans as guinea pigs. And you're like you're talking about bull in a china shop. I mean, they're going to put this uh, this chip in here and just experiment on these people in a real brute force kind of way. Oh, absolutely. When I started the, the anti-psychosurgery -psycho campaign, they were doing psychosurgery at NIMH. They were doing psychosurgery at the VA. I stopped all of that. But they weren't trying to treat people. No. They were experimenting. They were trying to develop their sense of power and authority over human beings. It's an evil approach to human beings. It's an objectifying of, of our basic nature, which is very spiritual. And whether mm -hmm. you believe in evolution or God or, or both, I mean, our, our brain is, is, has to do with our will. It has to do with our values. It has to do with who we are. And all they're going to be able to do, and they will be able to do this better, they will be able to make people more conforming and more docile. Yes. Lobotomy patients became totally docile. Modern day electroshock patients are still fighting electroshock. After a few shocks become docile and apathetic. Stay with us. We've got to take a break. We're going to be right back with Dr. Peter Bregan.
This is amazing. We're on news. the march. Stay with us. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.